Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to show you how to flash the TH3D Unified Firmware onto your ANET A8. This firmware is based on Marlin and has a number of safety features that are included. And I would, honestly, I would much prefer this over some of the other builds that I have tried, including the Bugfix 11X branch from the official Marlin page. However, let's come down here past all this. Here's the list of uh, Apple Book applicable uh, printers and whether they include easy bed leveling for that model in the firmware or not. Uh, so if you find yours on here, I happen to have the E12 and the A8 both. And there's some extra uh, notes down here which talk about uh, oversized bootloaders, which I'll get into when I do the E12. But this one we're going to focus on the A8. Here are a list of features, so you get bed leveling, uh, hotbed PID regulation and protection, uh, access or access homing, manual bed leveling support. I mean, there's a number of really nice things in here, and it's all based off of the same Marlin that the stock firmware on the A8 came with. So this is going to be extremely easy, and I'll walk you through step by step, show you what's going on, and I'll tell you, this is almost too easy. So. I'll put the link to this page up here, th3dstudio.com, knowledge base, th3d unified firmware. Go down here, and we'll left click right here. Current version is U1R18F. Left click and save. This is a 392 megabyte download. Now, I've already created one on the desktop, so we'll be good here. So we're going to let that download real quick. And... A number of the reasons that I wanted to do this was that I didn't want the printer to catch on fire or have any chance of that happening. I wanted the safety protections in place, and those were either scarce, hard to set up, or non-existent in some of the other firmwares. Here, it's extremely easy. So my download should be about done. And we can pretty much do this real time because honestly, this goes super fast. Now I do have my printer already uh, hooked up to the laptop here through the USB cable. It's not currently powered on, but we'll do that here in a second. So we're going to open up the zip file, and we are going to extract everything that's in here right inside. Of course, depending on the specs of your computer, this may take a while. I have an SSD, so this goes fairly quick. And this covers all of the models that you saw listed on that landing page, which is really nice. This is why it's a unified firmware. Everything is already here, ready to go. <clears throat> so as soon as this extracts, we are going to go into the firmware folder, and we are going to change one file, and then we can do a compile and upload. It's literally that easy, and I'll show you what, the, what all you have to do for that here in just a second. So we'll let this finish expanding here. It'll copy over, and then we will go through and start the uh, compile and the upload. Everything's included. The Arduino IDE is already uh, in here. It's version, I believe, 1.8.5. Uh, so you don't have to download anything else. You don't need uh, extra drivers or anything like that. It's all here. Here we go. It's all copied in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the firmware folder, th3duf, and we're going to go to configuration.h. Now, point of note here, always use, if you can, Notepad++, especially if you're a Windows user, because you want the line ending format for this file to stay as it is. If you were to open this in Notepad or WordPad, you would screw everything up and it would simply not work. So, in here, you'll notice that we have some sections, such as CH3D configuration, and then we have the 10S options, uh, Ender 2 options, Ender 3. So you need to find the printer section for your printer. And we are here under ANET printers, and we need to uncomment the lines for the printer we're going to be using. you notice there's an A8 and an E12. I have both. We're doing the A8 for this one, so we're going to uncomment this line. Choose the bed size. This is only for the A2, so that doesn't apply to us. 
choose which type of LCD you have. In this case, this line is for the LCD with the rotary knob. That would be the E12, uh, E10, and so on. Uh, this line is for the one with the five button keypad, which in this case is the A8 and some of the A2 machines, depending on which one you have. So this line, we need to uncomment that. And then obviously the next section down is one how I3s, but we're not working with that. If you happen to have an easy auto bed level mount or something, uh, depending on which one you have, you can uncomment that specific line. It'll add that in. And if you want, you can go down through here uh, you can check other things and extras if you uh, maybe have a V6 hot end or uh, other upgrades. There's a bunch of other things that are all down here. Um, you can set your uh, offsets for home. There's a lot in here. But we only need to be concerned right now with these two lines under the ANET printers option. So once those are uncommented, go up here and hit save. Close that out. Now rather than going down through here and finding the INO file which is here and opening that they made it easy for you. So if we simply go into TH3D's folder and go open firmware windows bat it already opens it up for us which is great. I don't care I usually hit allow in private networks because it's, it's fine. Let's enlarge this. So we don't need to worry about opening up any other files or changing anything. First thing we're going to do is come up here to Tools and we're going to go to Board. We need the ANET V1.0. Go back in again and since I don't have the printer turned on, port is not going to be selected. So let's go ahead and turn on the printer real quick and you'll hear it beep in the background here. And yes, I know the fan on this thing is ridiculously loud. I absolutely hate that. I will probably get around to changing that at some point. Okay, so the system is booted up. We can now go to port. And I only have one USB thing plugged in, so it's COM11. And if you want to check it, go ahead and hit board info. It'll say unknown board, but that's fine. It is actually the right one. I like to expand this up a little bit so that I can see what's happening as I do a compile. So up in the top left, you'll see a verify button, which just looks like a check mark. Go ahead and hit that. And we'll go through and it'll compile the sketch, but not upload it. So here in a second, you'll start seeing things. There we are. Um, progress bars over here on the right in green. You can see how far along the com uh, sketch compile is. And then check in the top left here of this uh, teal bar. And we'll say done compiling. And you see down here, there's no issues. That's cool. Now we can go ahead and we can hit upload, which will do another compile. And we'll also, at the end of the compile, of course, assuming it's good, upload to the board. So we'll let this run here for a second. There we go. Now it's saying uploading. And this new firmware only uses 80% of the program storage space. It's kind of good to know or done uploading, my printer rebooted, and we are now looking at TH3D U1R18F. We are now in TH3D's unified firmware for the A8. That's it. That's all there was to get this done. It was literally that easy. With that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you out. If it did, leave a like, share and subscribe this video, this channel, let everyone know helps me out, and I will see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.